we've got here is a demonstration which shows <laughs> which shows that electrons are waves. Now, we keep saying electrons are particles, but this definitely shows that electrons are waves. What we're doing is putting in a voltage across the two parts here, which heats up a um, cathode there. The electrons boil off. They're attracted to the anode a little bit further along. Some of them miss it and hit a very thin layer of crystal just in the neck of the tube. And the crystals, uh, atoms in the crystal are spaced so that the electrons, as they go through, do a Young's double slit sort of thing and disperse and interfere. And then they come out on the other end and they have this interference pattern embedded in them. And now the only way they can do that is if they are a wave. So what I need to do now is go and turn the lights off so I can demonstrate this to you. And I'll turn it round so that you can see the screen. And then I'll put some voltage on to pull the electrons across the gap towards the screen. First of all, you see a bright spot in the middle. And then you should see some concentric rings on the phosphor. So there's patches of light and dark. If this was a Young's double slit experiment, you would see a horizontal line with a bright spot in the middle and patches of light and dark as you spread out further from it. This is like Young's double slit experiment in two dimensions all the way around. So from the center, bright spot, you've then got a dark ring, a light ring, a dark ring, a light ring. And as we change the voltage, the distribution of them changes. It gets brighter, but the rings, you can see now there's a closer one in and they've spread out. So by changing the voltage, the distribution between them changes. The structure of those rings can then, you can work backwards and work out the crystal structure that is causing the diffraction pattern, the interference pattern. And this is um, one way that we do analyze crystal surfaces or thin films of crystal to find out what their structure is. So a nice demonstration showing that electrons actually are waves.